Hello everyone, Andrew here and welcome to part 3 of Donkey Kong Country 2 Unveiled. Last time we did levels 3 and 4 of the first world and today we're going to be doing the last level and boss of this world as well as uh, my rule is going to be that every time we clear a world we will then go back into it and pay for any kind of hints or Swanky's bonus bonanza quizzes that we have not yet done. So again, we're going to do a level today, a boss today, and then come back and pay for all the things from Swanky, Cranky, and Wrinkly that we have not yet seen. But before we do all that, we have Ruthless Ropes to take care of. This is normally where you're introduced to Radley. And wow, from the beginning, it almost looks exactly the same. Normally there would be a warp barrel di uh, directly beneath the start, but now I am seeing that we are actually not at the bottom of the level, but rather it looks like maybe we're working our way down, or maybe we're actually working our way up and we just didn't start right at the bottom. And wow, the camera's acting weird here. You know, it just kind of really sways based on where you're looking. And that was just me poorly timing some cannonballs. All right, but with that said though, Let's actually, you know, not poorly time that this time. And there is just a really small window of opportunity there. I also see that we're somehow going to have to go up uh, where the arrow is pointing. It would be really nice to have a kind of partner. I could just, uh, you know, pretty much skip this, throw a partner up there. And just like that. Okay, so there is a rope here we can grab onto. And just like that, we're over here. Although it doesn't seem like there's any point of being over there. And now we're here. So with those Klingons, it's really interesting uh, seeing them in the randomizer when they weren't actually holding onto a rope. They make it uh, for an interesting enemy in just ordinary levels. And I was hoping that that zinger would not come all the way over to me. All right, this is this is pretty darn cool. That's just me forgetting how to jump. Aha, got it. Okay, but, but I was holding up. I was totally holding up. Yeah, that's an odd rope. It's like so close to the edge of the screen that I think there's some, uh, you know, kind of screen border issues with it. Doesn't want to hold on sometimes, but hopefully with Dixie, can make things a little bit simpler. All right, now let's start uh, you know, paying attention and not just messing around here. Well, he actually does just do three, and then there's a little bit of a break, so you, know, you can utilize that to, I guess, your advantage. Uh, this guy just seems to be doing one at a time. And it kind of bounces twice up there, which is weird. All right, so now that we have Dixie Kong and not Diddy, things are proceeding a little bit smoother. Uh, but I'm not just going to... Well, I did not mean to grab onto that rope. I totally wanted to come down here and see if there was anything going on, which there might be. No. But, I mean, I had the check. Uh, I'm playing it as I would play any new Donkey Kong Country game, where I always kind of try to incorporate looking for secrets into my ordinary playthroughs of the level. And uh, again, hopefully people enjoy that. I know, again, it might just look like I'm you know, kind of not so great at video games. I do see a banana up there, though. Uh, but yeah, I just like looking... Whoa, I saw that barrel coming at me. Interesting. So uh, I think we might have just found ourselves a secret here. There we go. Cool. Always got to be observant when you're playing your Donkey Kong Country, that's for sure. Destroy them all. What do we got? Oh, so first of all, we need you. And we gotta throw... Wait, oh, so there's... Oh, wow, this is this is interesting. I don't think I'm gonna get it on my first try, but thankfully this was a pretty simple bonus game to get to. Where's it going to appear? Oh, <laughs> so close. Uh, but thankfully, once again, yeah, it's not a hard bonus game to get to. Just where the heck are we? I have no idea where we are. Oh, no! I just destroyed the cannon on my way out of that bonus game. Now I actually can't get back to it. This game knew exactly what I was going to try doing, but if I switch to Dixie and we climb up here, maybe we can cheat things. Actually, no, we can probably... Is this the death barrier now? It might be? Alright, that might actually be a little bit tough to get to. Whatever, it's at the beginning of the level. We can just come back here anytime and get that. But So note to self, there was a bonus game there. How many bonus games are normally in this level? Three, I think? So keep our eyes out for at least two more. Plus, of course, the DK coin. I definitely feel like there might be something between those two guys. And this is just an odd jump. And also, what a weird platform they've created. Kind of glitchy, but also kind of ingenious. All right, what do we got? One. One. So it's just one. What's the music? Whoa, it's it's uh, the Hornet Nest music. Wow. I actually had not noticed that. You probably all have a better... Uh, you know, 
vantage point of the music than I do. I don't have it up too loud because of course I don't want that feedback on the microphone. You don't want to have double sound. So uh, if, you know, if I don't stop talking, I sometimes don't hear the music. But of course, as a ROM hack, it makes sense that they would change things up a little. And probably should have done that a little bit differently. And wow, that's going to make this tough now. Like, I feel like, should you just jump around from the outside? No, you can't really do that. One, one, three. So there doesn't really seem to be any kind of extended gap. I feel like, honestly, I should just fall here. I feel like there's a secret. No. There was no secrets. Uh, again, that's up there where I thought maybe there was something. Okay, so the death barrier actually does not rise up with you. So I could have jumped down there. And this will allow me to go back and get that bonus game if I wish to, which I think I do. So let's do that before we concern ourselves too much with proceeding more on in the level. So I'm going to take good old Dixie here. And I did not just mean to fall. Yes, yeah, so like if I do... I could have got that coin, I guess. I guess. That's not such a difficult bonus game to get to. I probably even actually could have done that with Diddy. If I had thought of it. But alright, so... Again, it's weird that it gives you the, uh... The DK barrel here. Considering it doesn't really seem like you need it. Oh, I thought maybe I could do like a bounce bounce. But alright, whatever. We'll get back into that again. Like, I guess what you're probably supposed to do... Again, I always forget that I start in the middle of the arena. Is like, if you do that then you're pretty much golden. I don't think there's like a DK coin hidden in this bonus area or anything. Like, yeah, that was not so difficult. As long as you've kind of got the order down. Uh, it's just weird that it gives you a DK barrel for apparently no reason. I mean, I guess technically it's just kind of like a reward, I guess. Congratulations on finding the bonus game. Here's a DK barrel. I'm not used to just such generosity from ROM hacks, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. And again, uh, it doesn't seem like that's all that big of a deal. Uh, this kind of uh, area is weird, so I think I'm going to sacrifice Diddy should it be necessary. Uh, as I was saying. And now we are back to where the checkpoint is, with no reason to return uh, in the future, unless I did happen to miss something there, which is entirely possible. And again, might as well switch here so that Diddy uh, takes the hit should it happen, which is, you know, it's probably inevitable. Kind of a strange situation. Wow, okay, there you go. That's how it's done. And just like that, we are now here. And what exactly this does, I don't know. There is like a platform down there. There's a few places I see for potential secret hiding. But again, I'm not going to pay too much attention to that unless we have trouble finding stuff at some point. Like all these red zingers here. This is kind of a cool puzzle. But what could possibly be hiding to the left, I wonder? That maybe it's not letting us see. And that's not what I wanted. Yeah, I was definitely going to search around that area. And the fact that it's kind of forcing you upwards just confirms that there was definitely stuff down there. So I was planning to do some searching, but uh, the game had other plans. What should we get? I mean, I don't really need lives, and we're going to be buying a whole bunch of stuff after this, so I might as well get the coin. There we go. Up to 16. That should be good for a few uh, trivia quizzes and hints. But yes, we still have at least one bonus game. Is it two or three? I might be getting Main Brace Mayhem confused with this one. Uh, there's definitely at least two, obviously. And, of course, the DK coin. And there's definitely places to search for them. So I'll see you in a minute. All right, so back to the second half where I was so rudely, you know, just kind of thrown to the end of the level. How dare it take me to where I can beat this level. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think a very cool level. I love the color palette. Once again, kind of a darker tone uh, as we've come to expect from this hack. Oh, but yeah, we definitely still have a couple of secrets near the end to find. Uh, in the main game, this was a DK coin that took me a little while to find as a kid. Uh, so it's kind of just off to the side where you might not initially notice it uh and darn i should have kind of swung dixie to the other side but but yeah that's definitely where i'm expecting it to be kind of just jump to the left there uh, especially with dixie and her floating ability i'm sure we'll find something good hopefully you know the dk coin and the bonus game are both kind of in the same spot but otherwise who knows maybe the dk coin is once again just like in the uh, original game you know off to the side where you might not see it now, like, it could be literally up there, for all we know. Uh, but we're going to find out right around now. So, once again, got to watch out for zingers here. Interesting. Very interesting kind of climbing section here. I'm not going to lie. 
Whoa, I cannot believe that was a safe spot. Okay, and here we go, I was correct. So the DK coin was kind of off to the side on top of that cannon, but uh, that still leaves a bonus game hidden somewhere, which is rather interesting. I was kind of banking on both things being in this general area. I might just have to start jumping into random spaces, but actually what happened was last time I climbed up that rope and I think I was just taken into a barrel. Hmm. There's still definitely some shenanigans going on back there. Like there's nothing to the right here, is there? No. No, no. Okay, so I guess I got to try that again. Got the DK coin though. Man, that's such an awkward jump to do. Uh, because you kind of have to, like, get off the rope and jump and then grab back onto it. But it just never seems to want to respawn that way. Alright, so once again, back to this awkward spot here. Where I don't know exactly what it was I did wrong. I feel like there's still a lot of potential for there to be something up at the top here. Because it's weird. You should get the shot up and then you go between those kind of groups of bananas. Like, like yeah, those bananas are so strange. But there's no way to control at all while you're just kind of going through all those motions there. So I don't know if there's another invisible barrel that I could somehow get my hands on or... Yeah. More investigation is definitely required though. <laughs> all the way back to the beginning. See, I can never make that jump properly. All right, so one thing we need to try is if underneath this platform there's anything significant. I don't think we've been like up here where that guy is and it does not appear that there is anything there of value. So uh, we once again need to do this awkward part and uh, yeah, I just it's so much easier to just tank a hit. It's, yeah, it, it, it's awkward. Yeah, I feel like, me what if I had two partners? Like, I feel like maybe you have to come here with two partners, and then you can uh, maybe throw one or something to access a certain barrel. Like, if you touch that end, you end up in the barrel, right? Hey! Yes! Yes! See, that's exactly what I meant. I knew there had to be another thing somewhere. All right. Wow. My plan was to kind of just stand on the edge and see if anything happened, but uh, there was indeed another barrel beside it. Kind of a weird secret, but I found it, so I guess I'll take it in the end. Again, maybe Cranky hints towards it? Uh, we will be finding that out later in this video when we buy all of his hints. So with that, hopefully that is everything that we need to find, and we might as well just beat the level for the heck of it. That raises a question though, where's the G? I was thinking like, is it in this, uh, the targets at the end? But no, we just got the N. Am I still missing something? Uh oh. Uh, this is gonna be really interesting. Again, how many bonus barrels? I know at least two. Is there a third one in this level normally? No. So where was the G? Was I just, you know, zoning out? I have no idea, but there you go! Everything in Ruthless Ropes. Now we're gonna stop by Funky's Flight 2. See if he has any modified text. Whoa, man! Looks like you found me in this bay. Let me see if you can ride bigger waves than me, Funky Kong. Rolling deep, so shoutouts to all the fly monkeys. Sure. Cruise on over to the barrel, man, and ride to the skies, man. Uh, so it still costs two coins, but of course, once you pay the first time, you never have to pay again. And there you go, Shipwreck Shore, all the bonus games, all the DK coins. Uh, but here we go, we've flown all the way back, and we're going to do uh, Canis Infinite. Interesting. Here we go, so Crow has like a very, very beefed up battle arena now where there is just hardly any floor at all. We got this guy bouncing all over the stratosphere. And how exactly that's going to affect the match? I don't know, but we can just stand here and let Crow run into us. And I feel kind of safe in this corner, but should I be climbing up there? Like, do you think there's any kind of secrets? Of course, in the normal uh, Crow fight, there is a coin actually hidden on top of Crow's nest. Now, I jumped on top of the egg and you just lose all control when you do that. So I had no choice but to kind of fly into the hole. But here we go. We're going to try this again. And I don't know. I feel like I should climb up there. I'm very curious on what I just might find. So we're going to take this hit and see if there's any secrets hidden in the alcoves. It doesn't really appear that there is. It looks like the battle arena actually goes more to the right, though, which is something I wasn't expecting. 
Okay, so let's see. What do we got? Can I destroy these guys? But again, it's like if I... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have moved all the way to the left. It was actually easier before I did that. Yeah, this is just a very interesting arena all around, I think. Now I can move to the left a bit. I feel like just hiding in this corner is probably the best strategy. Like, I just kind of wait for the egg again. Don't uh, rush anything. Wow, okay, that bounced higher on that last bounce than I was expecting. That was really cool. But again, nothing too difficult. Just kind of getting into the groove here. I really love the modified boss fights. That was one thing I was kind of let down about in the Donkey Kong Country 2 entrance randomizer was that the first uh, randomizer had really awesome modified bosses uh, where the seconds didn't. So, you know, to kind of get a modified boss from here, I think it's pretty cool. Definitely just kind of like Windy Koopa in Super Mario World. How they don't, uh, you know, change the boss, but uh, and I just accidentally turned around. Uh, which I knew as soon as I did it was going to send me right into that hole. They don't really modify the boss itself, but you can add a whole bunch of different things to uh, Wendy's boss room. People add all sorts of potabos and bullet bills. So that's definitely the kind of vibe I get from this. But see, if I'm facing to the right, I bounce back to the left. It's totally not that complicated. And again, I'm just gonna kind of stand here and wait for it to wait for it to happen. There you go. And once again, wait for Crow to come this way. Can't wait to see how they modify the other ones. Again, uh, if anyone's watched any of my other Donkey Kong Country 2 series, you'll know that I think the uh, the bosses in Donkey Kong Country 2 are definitely kind of simple. Uh, so anything that kind of mixes them up a bit, I definitely appreciate. Now, I was going to try and get that egg. I was actually even going to uh, destroy those two bosses, or rather, uh, enemies too. But uh, they kind of jumped away. And again, yeah, the strategy is definitely just to kind of hide in the left corner. It's not a very exciting strategy by any means. But it works, and that's what counts. Ooh. Whoa! Okay, well, I defeated that guy, so at least I won't be- Wait! I also got Crow, apparently! I got two with one stone! Uh, literally killing two birds with one stone. Well, technically one bird and one crocodile, but who's being that technical? And next up is Vivid Volcano. Knowing the colors in this game, I have no doubt that it's probably very vivid indeed. So, who should we start with? Let's look at what Cranky has to say. Unveiled is Kaizo. Well, there you go, everybody. Answers all my questions about whether or not it's Kaizo. Uh, but technically, of course, Kaizo, the Japanese word, just means remodeled or, like, modded. So, it doesn't technically mean it's, like, you know, Kaizo difficulty. Uh, just give me a break here. <laughs> Let me think my wishful thinking. Dang, I was asleep. Is he just gonna keep yapping if I don't press any buttons? I would prefer if you would be quiet. Isn't that a reference to that speedrunning thing where that guy's playing Tomba and the guy beside him won't stop talking about super pants or something like that? That's always good for a laugh. Whoa, cranky, language. Uh, these are all probably references to something. I'm sorry, I'm probably not going to get them all, but uh, wow, yeah, cranky really getting the swearing game on today. Don't be greedy with coins, the bananas are enough to collect. And again, that one's really kind of like left the line, which is pretty weird. I'm sure there's more to that wooden box, which actually means treasure chest. Now let's see, ruthless ropes. The bananas always guide you to new places, but can you find them? So, I mean, I guess, you know, the bananas that are uh, you are led to by getting into that barrel, that wasn't so obvious. Bouncy Bay. Uh, that kaboing clearly guards the halfway barrel with its life. Quite distracting, honestly. And that's exactly, when you come back from the uh, midway point, there is a bonus game hidden just to the right, but you're so busy getting destroyed by the uh, Kremlin landing on you that you might not notice it. And Flitter Flights, did you know Rambi had a double jump? I'm sure it could be useful, which yes, we did indeed learn that from Wrinkly Kong. So there you go, that is all of his hints. Now it's swanky time, which we did the first quiz in the last part, uh, and it's always been such a shame that you cannot replay hints, or rather replay quizzes. Even if like you didn't get another life for them, sometimes it's just fun to do them again, but let's see. Tropical test. How many lives are in level one? Well, we know there's at least four at the beginning. A red one, uh, a blue one, so it's either four or five. Uh -huh. No, so it was five. There was one later on too. Probably one at the, uh, at the target. What is the name of the first level in the game? Uh, Bouncy Bay. Which one of these animal buddies is not included in this world? Well, this is going to be easy. Quacks, yes. Rambi, yes. On guard, no. 
And we got a two up for that, which I'm gonna be turning the game off after this, so these are all for nothing. Sandy signs time. How many parrots can you find in Flitter Flight? Hmm. It's definitely not five. I'm gonna say nine. There you go. It definitely felt like, you know, a lot. So nine made a lot of sense. What are the odds? What is the name of the first water level? That was a uh, Riptide Rise. In the first level of the game, how many clobbers are you able to find? I know there's at least one, right? There you go. And that is all the quizzes complete, which takes us up to 40 lives. And hopefully with that, we'll have enough coins to uh, visit Wrinkly Kong, buy all of her tips, and save. Did you know that there are that there may or may not be new secrets on this island? Ask K. Rule. Well, I'm intrigued by that. That sounds like it's going to be fun. And again, we've read these. That's how we learned how to do the Rambi double jump. Uh, Riptide Rise. Oh yeah, that's right, of course. I forgot she said something about this that we read in the in the first part, which was like, you know, after um all that we went through to get the DK coin in that part, I kind of forgot about this. You might be able to make it through that gap to the DK coin, so try to find something that will help you get down into the water. Uh, so that was probably an indication of the hook that we found. Dismounting. You can dismount any animal body by doing X. We knew that. Uh, ruthless ropes. These cannons are trying their best to hide their secrets. I'm sure you can get there if you work together. Uh, so I think that was actually when I flew over to that guy who had the DK coin. We didn't have to work together at all. Technically, Dixie did it all on her own. This one, we apparently have to uh, beat K. Rule before we can read it. And Ruthless Ropes again. Did you even manage to collect the Kong letters? Yeah, I had no idea where the D was. Or rather, <laughs> the D. Yeah, spelling Kong with a D, where the G was. Uh, but we did find everything else in that level. We might have to go back at some point just for fun. Maybe on my own, I'll see if I can find the G. Uh, it is rather curious that we did not find it, uh, but it did not seem to be necessary in completing the world. So with that, we're going to save our game. And that takes us up to an hour 43 minutes to get 11 Krem coins, 5 DK coins, and 20% so for about a fifth of the way through the game. Again, hopefully everybody's enjoying that. If you have any comments on how I'm doing these parts, if I'm focusing too much on exploration and you want to see less of that, or if there's anything else you think I should be doing, please do not be afraid to comment it down below. But with that said, next time we'll be beginning World 2. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And hope you join me next time for that. So thanks and see you all later. Thank you so much once again for checking out my videos, I really appreciate it, and if you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it really helps my channel out. With that said, hope to see you next time.